Hello everyone and welcome back to today's episode of Cooking with Valerie. If you don't know me already, my name is Valerie and I write about cooking for my job. And today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to make clay pot rice. A little background of clay pot rice, it's a wildly popular dish from um, famously from Guangzhou, the capital of Canton province. Though there are different variations of clay pot rice all across, the basics are the same, which is pre-soaked white rice cooked in a clay pot and later on drizzled with a sauce. And um, But there are more than 100 different toppings that you can add on top of the white rice, which varies from Chinese sausage, freshwater eels, chicken, beef, pork ribs, and whatever you can think of. I was looking at this recipe and I found some people add oysters to their clay pot rice. So if you want to try them, feel free to do that. As I have never been to Guangzhou, uh, which I really want to go visit at some point, the closest thing I could get is actually in Boston's Chinatown. It's in, there's an awesome place called Clay Pot Cafe and in, you can probably get the best clay pot rice in the greater Boston area. There's also another place called Susu Gourmet and it's also quite amazing. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to go back to those places because of COVID-19 as I don't drive and I live outside their delivery zone. So multiple reasons, here I am trying to make this dish myself. So that being said, if you live close to Clay Pot Cafe or you're close to downtown Boston, you should definitely skip this video and just order from these places and which you can also support our local small businesses, which is great. And but if you are interested in learning how the Clay Pot Rice is made and want to maybe one day cook for yourself, then keep watching this video. So first, let's talk about ingredients. We have some white rice. Um, I soaked them in water for two hours just because I'm using short grain Japanese white rice as opposed to long grain jasmine rice, which is traditionally used in this dish. Um, the reason why jasmine rice is better is because they're longer and they're less starchy than the Japanese rice I'm currently using but they are okay. I've tried this at home, this is fine. Just make sure that you soak them longer than what um, a traditional recipe asks for. And then we have some vegetables that I blanch. Pretty straightforward, blanching vegetables in water and then add a pinch of salt if you feel like it. And here I have cut some Chinese sausage. You can see there's almost like equal part of fat and lean meat in each piece of sausage. Um, I have talked about sourcing. If you can, if you cannot find any Chinese sausage in your nearby grocery store or anywhere, then you can also substitute with kielbasa like any Eastern European Russian sausages is fine. I would recommend that you pan fry them before you put them on the rice because they, um, the fat comes out more easily and it, kind of, it's, it gets kind of crispy and crunchy. And now let's talk about the sauce. The sauce is really just a simple mixture of different kinds of soy sauce, some sugar and sesame oil all mixed together. Everyone does it differently. I've seen some recipe that asks for um, oyster sauce. I've seen some recipe that asks for fish sauce. So if you feel like being adventurous with your clay pot rice, you can definitely try those recipes and let us know what you think. Also, we have some cooking oil, vegetable oil. That is mainly for grease the clay pot. And also later on, we're gonna drip the oil all over to make the bottom extra crispy. So that is about the ingredients. First, let's grease our clay pot. Make sure the bottom is evenly coated with some vegetable oil and also make sure the sides are covered as well. Now I have placed it over the stove. 
now you want to turn on the heat and on medium high at the rice. It's about two cup. Before we add the water to get the rice cooking, let's give it a gentle stir and make sure each grain of rice is covered with, coated with some oil. The process is kind of similar to cooking a Spanish paella. And the objective is also similar, is to get the bottom of the rice crispy. And after that, let's add about two cups of water. It really depends on um, how, how hot your stove gets and also depends on the type of rice you're getting. Sometimes it's more than two cups, but for me, it's about two and a quarter cup of rice, uh, water for the rice. Another way to measure it is using your eye and your judgment and see if the water is above the, the rice for about a third of an inch, that's fine too. That's basically what we're looking for. Now you added the water, make sure all every grain of rice is submerged in water and with the lid off, let it cook until it reaches the boiling point. Now you kind of see the small bubbles started to form and uh, maybe in just a minute, we can cover it with lid and turn the heat to low. Okay, cover and turn the heat to super low to let it simmer. It's going to take about 10 minutes to 20 minutes, depends on how many cups of rice you're cooking or what type of rice you're cooking. And while the rice is simmering, let's make a sauce. So first we're gonna start with light soy sauce, adding two tablespoons Dark soy sauce. Half tablespoon. And sesame oil. Also half tablespoon. And after that, we're gonna add a teaspoon of sugar. half teaspoon or a teaspoon, depends on how you want to season your clay pot rice. I'm going to add some salt too. And mix! In like 10 minutes or so, or 15 minutes, our rice is almost kind of cooked. And open the lid, make sure you're wearing an oven mitt. I'm we're going to place the sausage as beautifully as you would like to. Oh, this is hot, kind of. Don't want to burn myself. Okay, um, this is the most effective way, I think. I kind of, you know, um, make them more like evenly distributed all over the rice. your oven mitts back on, cover the pot again. Let it simmer for another five minutes. And after five minutes, you're gonna pour this oil thing all over the lid, kind of towards the edges of the lid. And now, if you listen very closely, you can hear the sizzling sound that is happening inside the pot. This is good news. It means that the rice is getting crispy. And now let's add the sauce. Pour the sauce all over. Very nice. And now we can, optional, you can also add an egg. It's gonna cook while we finish the last stretch of the cooking. 
cover again. When you start smelling that something is burning, but it's not bad burning, then it's time to turn off the heat. Let it sit for another maybe two to five minutes. Or if you really want to open it, you can open it now and see that the eggs is mostly cooked. And now it's probably a good time to add your veggies. Let's do that. Like a restaurant would do on the side. Okay, after letting it chill for about 10 minutes, um, let's open up clay pot rice. It's um, still hot. And to serve, give it a quick stir because you want to get the good crispy part out and also um, you distribute the sauce more evenly. Kind of like similar to the uh, the Korean bing bing bop in a way. Cool. Okay, that's it. Now you have some really delicious clay pot rice. And today I invited Tom, my husband, to join us and he's going to give it a taste test. Let's see. What do you think? It's a, a little bit of crispiness, um, but the rice itself is is very moist. Uh, it also has a nice bit of salt and fat from the uh, from the sausage. So, and also a nice little bit of uh, of uh, refreshing uh, crunch from the uh, vegetables as well. So I like it. It's good. Nice. Are you intrigued? Do you want to give it a try? Let's um, clay pot rice at home from your kitchen and let us know what you think. And what else do you want us to cook? Please leave a comment below or email us. Let us know. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.